It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3 and on 1 March 2023, the Not An Our Watch hashtag N-O-O-W campaign was launched to raise awareness of the urgent plight of the African penguin and they need to do something right now. The campaign is supported and made possible by several conservation organizations, including the WWF South Africa Endangered Wildlife Trust and the Two Oceans Aquarium Foundation, just to name a few. So, we do have a very, very fantastic guest, senior penguin keeper and animal health technician at Two Oceans Aquarium, joining us to talk about this important campaign. So, is it Shanae? Shanette. Shanette, that's it. Shanette, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it is a, it's an animal that I think that a lot of people have got connected to. If you look at the movies, Happy Feet and the like, you know, it's made us very, very close to to the African penguin. But at the moment, give us the reality. You know, what is the situation now and why is this such a, an important cause to get behind? You know, Carl, that's actually a very good question. Um, in the 20th century, we had over 1.5 million penguins. Yes. And that covered an island of, pink, of, 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 you know, yes. a variety of places. And by the, 20, by the mid 1970s, we, the, the numbers declined to about 55,000 breeding pairs. So from okay. 300,000 300, breeding pairs to 55, that's a massive decline. Yeah. And that's a huge um, population density that has just disappeared into thin air. So what's um, going on? So there's a lot going on. The, the most important part is overfishing. So penguins feed on pelagic fish, and that's anchovies uh. Uh, and also some sardines. But at the same time, there's a lot of commercial fishing happening around particular areas where penguins are nesting around. And so when you do overfishing around the same places where animals also need some food, it takes away their standards of living. It takes away yeah. their priorities for survival. So enter the hashtag, is it hashtag now? It's hashtag now. Now campaign. If we wait any longer, yeah. it's going to disappear and now is going to be too late. So you've got this coalition of organizations ready to get behind. So what is the action plan? What is the, the goal and the dream for now's campaign? That's good. So the action plan and the, and the goal is to yeah. raise awareness and to plan a movement. And we need the support of our locals, we need the support of people internationally and zoos and aquariums to help educate as much as we can about the African penguin. The African penguin is the only penguin in the African continent or on Africa alone. Yeah. And with a mass decline by, the, by 2035, we might not see any of them left. So they'll become functionally extinct. And oh, that's no. drastic. And I mean, we, we can't have that. Penguins hold a very, very special place in my heart, you know, <laughs> and, and I think for so many too. So we do need to act right now. Is there any particular reason why this struck a chord for you personally? I mean, you obviously work very closely, but you know, what struck a chord for you with regard to this decline? What made you say, uh uh, I'll get up in the morning, go into national TV, chat to Carl about it? I mean, that's brave. You know, what pushed you to do this? So I've been part of the aquarium family for a really, really, really long time. And as a volunteer, I started there and I started working with penguins. And instantly my passion arised. Okay. Um, when I was 12, I wanted to just work with penguins. And by finding out that the, the penguin colony is declining rapidly, yeah. it's now my chance and my opportunity to make this world-known status to help the African penguin and save them. Such so a it's great it's very course. important. Jeanette, thank you so much. We're going to yeah. continue our conversation very, very soon in Feel Good Breakfast Show and continue the discussion. If you have any questions, why not? 63 8863 if there's any questions that you have. And remember, we have beaches like Boulders Beach that could be in massive jeopardy. I mean, those are family spaces and places that we used to go to. So I just want to say that ask the questions and, of course, let's get behind hashtag now. It's my feel good. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here at S3, and we are continuing our conversation. Uh, 1 March 2023, the Not On Our Watch hashtag now campaign was launched, and this is to raise a lot of awareness around the African penguin and its plight. Uh, we do have somebody very, very special on our couch who is part of the campaign and is supporting it with the expertise. And remember, WWF South Africa is a part of this, as well as Endangered Wildlife Trust and the Two Oceans Aquarium Foundation, making sure that we get enough awareness behind uh, this particular campaign. Senior penguin keeper and animal health technician, Shanette Rutgers, is still here. So we discussed the, about the campaign, about the necessity, the, why we need to get behind the campaign. But let's, can we talk about this beautiful African penguin? And I think the more we talk about how beautiful it is, 
the better it is for anybody to get behind this cause and make sure that we don't lose these animals in the future. So tell me a bit more about this gorgeous creature. Penguins are special. I mean, um, but just looking at them, everyone, you, you look at them and you want to touch them and, yes. and you want to just caress them and, and make them feel special, even though they, well, you shouldn't really do that because yeah, they yeah. are aggressive animals. But um, they, these little waddlers that have tuxedo suits on and they <laughs> walk quite funny and they, they're, not, they're not pleasant on, on land. So when you watch them walk, they tumble over things, they trip over, over their own feet. Yeah. But watching them in water, they glide like birds. And it's such a graceful behavior that they have in water and it makes you feel so much calmer when you're looking at them. And um, I love them. I love them to bits. They all over my house. <laughs> I've got penguins everywhere and uh, I, can't, I can't say no to, to a penguin who misbehaves on the beach when I look after them. Sometimes they bite me, sometimes they interact with me, but they are super special animals. I agree with you. And that's why I said earlier, it's the movies like Happy Feet that have really made them very endearing to us as human beings. You know, there's something so special about watching a penguin in action, but also watching humans in action looking after them is even more powerful. How amazing has this collaboration been with, uh, you know, obviously the Endangered Wildlife Trust and, you know, WWF and, you know, making sure that everybody gets together. How powerful has the collaboration been so far? At the moment, it's been very powerful. We have a lot of hands-on work happening behind the scenes. Um, everyone's being involved from research to yep. sharing the love for penguins, sharing information about what they need and uh, what we need as humans and society in order to help them and support the birds yep. in particular. How bad would it be for, I'm going to call it biodiversity, uh, the environment in which these African penguins live, if we hit that deadline, 2035, and these African penguins are gone? What are the implications? That's a good question. So um, by 2035, there won't be enough for them to produce. We, as um, the, the penguins in general, they are ambassadors to the environment, yes. ambassadors to other species, and they tell us that the oceans are in trouble. So we need to listen to them, and we need to provide that support to penguins. We need to, if anything were to go wrong, there's so much that can go down from that hill. Yeah. And so the penguins are what is telling us that we need to conserve, we need to educate, we need to recycle, we need to do so many things in the sustainability point of view to help save the planet, to help save Africa, and to help save the world. I love that. That sounds like the speech of a Miss World. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but just for anybody who'd like to assist you and help the Two Oceans Aquarium and your collaborators in hashtag now, is there any way we can get behind the campaign? Follow the website, join us on our, our social media platforms, but at the same time, when you go to these particular sites where penguins are, if you have a car, look under your car because penguins tend to go to dark places. Okay. If you live in residential areas around penguins, you know, keep your animals on leashes. And if you do go and visit the penguins, just keep three meters away from them when you take pictures and share the love. Jeanette, thank you so much for joining us and also sharing some, some golden words with regard to the penguins. Let's look after them and get behind the campaign. Hashtag now. Look for it in social media and see what you can do to help as we get onto something very, very interesting. I have a feeling that I'm going to be called in for it.